everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So last night I just slept on my hair. I didn't do anything to it and now it's like tiny and knotty and like I need a new style. Good for us. I have an amazing style sitting on my bed that we are going to do an entire YouTube video on right here, right now. Let's go. So this is, ah, look at that. That's so cute. This is a body wave wig from Erin21 Wigs. I will leave my link for their store and the link to the direct, like the direct link to this wig in the description if you'd like to buy it. It's really cute, it like comes with bangs and everything, but today we're gonna make this into a U part slash V part wig, whatever you wanna call it. So I had another wig from um, the same company that I made into a U part, V part wig, and it was a T part wig. This is not, I mean, it's kind of a T part, not really so we're gonna see how this cuts um i'll show you the other one so this is my everyday t part slash v part slash u part whatever wig that i made um i made i got this wig from erin two and wigs which is a great company that sells hair and um it was a tea part, like I said before. I'm repeating myself right now. Anyway, um, I was wearing it as like a regular wig, and I'm not one to like flex a lace front. Like that's not like who I am. That's not <laughs> something I enjoy doing. It's like it stresses me out. It's a lot of work, and also I don't like the feeling of a lace. So I saw some girl like talk about like how she's gonna start wearing leave out again, and I'm not one who grew up with leave out. Like I've I've always had like my natural hair growing up. I used to have dreadlocks, so like fake hair is like kind of new to me so I'm learning everything so for a long time I thought like HD lace whatever was like the only way to like have beautiful long fake hair it's not you can do leave out you can make your hair look a little bit more natural with this option and it feels a little bit more comfortable than like having something glued to your forehead you know like no I, I, I'm not, I was about to say nobody likes that feeling I'm, I'm not gonna speak for everybody, but me personally, it's not great. So this is what it looks like on the inside. I sewed in these two clips and literally just cut the lace down the middle. This is dirty, this is nasty. I've I've washed it a couple times. I've had this for like damn near a year at this point. Um, but anytime I just wanna have just like natural long hair instead of my natural short hair, then I just clip this in and I will show you how I'm gonna make another one today because that one's getting old and ratty, so let's go. So I guess first what we'll do is like cut it and then we'll braid up the hair and then put it all together. Because once like everything's braided up and your hair is blown out, like it takes literally two seconds. So I'm going to literally, the thing is for me is the bang. Like I kind of, I don't think I can save the bang. I was thinking about like cutting out the bang to then make a clip on bang but I don't think I'm gonna do that. So what you're gonna need to do this project is beauty supply store clips. They don't have to be from the beauty supply, but I think that's the easiest place to get them. Um, just go into the beauty supply and be like, hey, you have wig clips or extension clips or hair clips, whatever. And you need ones with holes in them so that you can sew them on. This is my sewing kit over here. I'm just gonna need black thread and a needle and some scissors, and that is all. So let's just get into it. I think I'm just gonna start cutting straight down the middle. Um, I think I'm also gonna leave the bangs. Maybe it'll like be cute little pieces to like frame my face, who knows? If not, then we can cut them off and post, but yeah. Oh my God, you guys, so look. Basically, this wig, it's separated. So, do you see the lace thing? So what now I'm gonna do, because this is like cutting off into its own little pieces, is cut this entire thing out to just be for my hair. And then, do you know what I mean? Do you get it? Do you see it? Do you get it? So I'm just gonna cut out this like little nude bit out of it entirely. I cut one part out and honestly, like I feel like I could use this for something. I It looks kind of gross like by itself, but anyway, look, cut that out. I'll cut that out eventually and then I'm just gonna do the other side. But like, like this could be for something. So I'm not gonna throw it out just yet. <laughs> 
it is cut. Now it is time to sew. Be careful with when you're cutting it, by the way. Like you don't want to see how I messed up right here, right? Because this is what's holding the entire wig together. So don't be stupid and cut off like a layer of tracks, which is what I was about to do if I was an idiot. So I sewed one on already in this place. So this clip that's already in the wig is going to go here. And this clip that we're sewing on, there's a plane in the sky, I'm sorry, is going to go here. So now I'm going to show you how I sew it on. It's honestly so easy. Like, as long as you just, you don't even need to know how to use a sewing machine. Like, it's like a stitch, like a regular stitch. Like, if you don't know how to stitch stitch, like at all, maybe look that up first. Because <laughs> I don't know how helpful this is going to be. But for the girlies that do know how to stitch, get ready. Because it's about to change your life. So you take a clip and make sure you don't put these on backwards, okay? So a way to tell which way is the right way is open up the clip. Where would your hair go? This way, right? It wouldn't go, this This part's not going in your hair. It's this part. So you gotta sew it the way that the part from your hair goes into is right, okay? And then sew it on clothes though. And then just start like fucking sewing, man. Like, hold on. So take your needle and thread, and I'll do it this way so you can see what I'm doing. Just taking my needle and thread, I have a knot on the bottom of the needle already, and you stick it through, and then come right back around. <laughs> And I'm going to come right back around into the second hole. So I started with this top hole and I'm going to sew in all of these holes, like just like a random, random pattern, like just sewing in and out, in and out of each AO, but in and out, you know what I mean, of each little thing so that it feels tight and it feels secure and I don't have to worry about this ever coming undone. And even if it does, you can just sew right back on. See what I'm doing here. Just going through, looping through every little clip hole at the top and then looping back around So I get to the end and if there seems to be like if the needle goes through like too easily on one section I make sure to loop around that same section a couple of times because there doesn't seem to be enough like or not enough but much fabric support but like if it's a little bit tougher for the needle to go through then I know that it'll be pretty secure so I don't have to go through it as much but, like, there's really no, like, direct, like, pattern that I'm following when I'm going through all of these. Like, I'm just looping where I think would be necessary. And also, if you're worried about the thread, like, here showing, your leave-out is going to cover that. So, don't even trip. Like, it's all okay. Um, yeah. So, I'm reaching towards the end of my... Thing now and it feels honestly super secure so I'm gonna start the process of tying it tying it I try to tie like five times the thing I really don't want is the tie to come loose and I like it just unravels and the clip fucking falls out during the middle of the day that would be so embarrassing so I'm just gonna go through here and I know you can't really see that well and I'm sorry about that but I'm trying to make this fucking make sense. Actually, we can even do that. So this is where I'm looping through the clip and through the wig. And then this loop with my thread, don't get it mixed up with the hair. I'm gonna loop it in like that. So once you're done sewing on your clips, this is what your wig should look like two clips here 
two clips there, one clip in the back. And I end up using all of these, to be honest. Um, so now what I'm going to do is braid up my hair and then put this on. Well, actually braid it up, then blow it out, then put this on and then probably straighten it as well. Yeah. What I'm going to do is section my hair here. Got to be gentle. Like this, basically. Like a you, which is going to be my leave out. And I'm just doing this so you know what kind of parting you should be doing. Um, if you've never done something like this before. And then I'm going to... Um, section it here as well this is very important because if you want to like tuck your hair behind your ears or like put it in a ponytail or like a clip or whatever wind blows and your edges show and you can see a cornrow like you don't you don't want that to happen right so this is important that's my thing with like closure wigs that i don't like which is why i always like turn them into um you part wigs is like, if the wind blows, God forbid I'm not sitting down in a still room. I'm going to look crazy. Like, you're going to, like, it's not, no. It's so, it's so clockable. It's so fucking clockable. And I'm over being clockable. Like, straight up, I'm tired of being clockable. <laughs> like, it's not okay anymore. Like, I'm becoming a grown woman. Like, I need to have the hair. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I can't be a clockable bitch anymore. I'm not a little girl. All right? So now that I have my hair sectioned off that I'm going to be blowing out, I'm going to go dampen this. This is all the hair I'm braiding up. I'm going to go damp this up with some like a spray bottle or something. And then I'm going to use my Blue Magic Castor Oil and my Shea Moisture um, Curl Enhancing Smoothie to braid this up and make it a little bit easier to braid and detangle with my fake Denman brush. And then I will be back. <laughs> this literally took for fucking ever. <laughs> And I look like this. Whatever. So we're gonna do that to these and these and then pin these up with a bobby pin. I literally just like go like that, pin it. And these are only four braids in the back. And then we can finally put the thing on. Yeah, what if we just went in? Help John out the bullshit. Huh? 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 So like three freaking hours later. <laughs> We are here with blown out hair, and now I'm going to use two tools to make my leave out blend, and it's going to be a flat iron and this like Revlon really old spring brush that does what it needs to do. Um, it's not great, but it works, and I use this mainly for like my edges um, so that my edges blend because like the back of your head could be in China, but the front's in South Africa, and you can tell, bitch. <laughs> so we really gotta, you know, press these hoes out. They go, he, <laughs> he climaxed that hard. Because his, I can't even, yeah, I can't even do it. That's what he sounds like. Like, his voice, like, wavers. It's like if you took, like, a saw and, like, you know, just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it was, like, he... Y'all, I am finally done. This hairstyle has taken me like a minute, but it's okay because now we're going to see the results and I still might even have to straighten this hair, but we'll see. We'll see. What we're going to do to put it on is flip over one part of your, or one side at least of your leave out and oh, I didn't even open the clip. Stick the clip in. Okay. And then I'm gonna take the clips from here and shove them into my braids as well. Like the clips that were already part of the wig. Take that and shove it into your braids. There we go. Spread out your leave out to cover up the top. Ah, finally, I <laughs> have this shit on my head. Oh my God, it's taking me forever. Okay, so the straight, I couldn't have honestly even just blown out my hair at the top and not even straightened it because 
this hair is just blown out but i really do think i want to like straighten it maybe i don't know but this like natural vibe is like really cute too like this even might be cute with like a side part i don't know but i really kind of want like long straight hair like i i think i want long straight hair i think i'm gonna I think I'm gonna straighten it. Cause this shit is long, bitch. Look how long. And it's kind of curly too. So straight, it's gonna like look even longer. I think I'm gonna straighten it. It's gonna take me forever. Oh, but I'm gonna do it. Yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> um, there was no question. Anyway, this is what it looks like straightened. And it's just like, hi, like, very much high i will say the back keep doing this throughout the day because this shit will puff out and then your head will be like huge <laughs> so just keep that in mind but and it looks so good it literally looks so good and the color match is great i do have like a little bit like the front pieces of my hair the bottom of them are brown um and that is annoying for me when I'm trying to, like, blend my hair with hair that's not mine. Because um, you can fucking tell, you know? Just loose out. It's cute. And if I... I don't have time because I have to go somewhere after this. But um, if I did, I would just start, like, cutting down like this. And then that would blend as well. Um, but I usually just tuck behind the ears because, like I said, the bottom of the front pieces of my hair are brown because my hair used to be blonde and you can't tell on camera but in person you can definitely see and that like ruins the fantasy entirely at least for me i'm gonna use this eva nyc um heat protectant because i think this hair is human if not it's definitely human blend um by the way this hair is great like it's so soft it doesn't really tangle that much it straightens really well and also like it's not getting bone straight, which is good because if it did get like bone straight, it would not blend with my hair. And I would have to do a hairstyle instead of just being able to just straighten it and like go out. And yes, I am frying the fuck out of this hair. I don't give a fuck. Like, I want it to look good. <laughs> Period. Okay, I think. I did that as fast as I could. It took like 15 minutes total. Not too bad. Um, yeah, this is the hair. It's awesome. It's great. It's soft. It feels amazing on my head. Um, Aaron 2 one wigs. Link in the bio. Um, yeah, and just look at the length. Like, get into the length. Like, super cute. I've never had hair this long before. I really do enjoy it. So, yeah, this is it. This is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any video ideas for me or anything you want to see from me in particular, let me know. I make music. I sing. I do that as well. I do live shows. All of my information is in the description box if you'd like to check that out because that is, like, my passion and joy and love and life. Um, yeah, that's about it. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next YouTube video. Bye.